Okay, some new improvements and functionality in version 3.40 of the Blue Sky Plan software. The wizard is the fastest and easiest way to treatment plan a case. We're continuing to empower the wizard to be more versatile and allow more users to use the wizard in more situations. As you can see, the welcome screen for the wizard now allows the user to select which type of model or impression they're going to be importing. Whether it's a model STL, model CT, impression CT. And of course, depending on the selection of the user, the wizard will take the user through a different process flow. In addition, this version of the software now supports multiple surgical guided kits. So you have the option to select which kit you're going to be using. We have the direct cut drills and we also have the new Blue Sky Bio fully guided surgical kit. And again, the wizard, including the parts it recommends, including the report that's generated at the end, will modify itself depending on the selection made. And if you are using the direct cut drills, then we have the drop down menu that comes up asking which handpiece you're going to be using to ensure the depth control is controlled properly. If you're using another kit, the fully guided surgical kit, then that option disappears as it's not relevant. Another modification that was made to this build is you don't need to identify both nerves. If you only want to identify one nerve, press the next button, confirmation comes up, but you could skip that step and just identify the second nerve. Another improvement that was made to the software is that the widget circles have been made thinner. They're just as easy to grab, but you can see they take up less space, increasing visibility, both in the 2D views and in the 3D view as well. While we're looking at our tangential view, the tangential view will show us 360 degrees around our implant. Let's discuss another improvement that we have with the tangential view. You can now click on the second icon from the top that will make the tangential view implant centered with the implant remaining vertical the entire time. You can now keep the implant vertical and rotate around the implant. If you want to rotate to the implant, you rotate it the same way and you can see I'm rotating it and it's no longer vertical. However, when I let go of the mouse, the implant becomes vertical and the surrounding image updates accordingly. Moving along, I've jumped out of the wizard, turn that off for now. But if we go ahead to add a virtual tooth, we could see that we now have, courtesy of Dr. Brennis, we now have the Brennis tooth library added to the software and the virtual teeth appear as an option and could be dropped into the treatment plan. We have also improved the send interface via BioBigBox. Here you could see that you could either choose a laboratory from the drop down list without even knowing, without even needing to know their email address, or you could choose to just enter an email address for anybody and send the case or the exported file to the recipient directly from within Blue Sky Plan. Your email address, your login details for BioBigBox appear on the top of the screen and it will send via your via your login details for BioBigBox. And for those of you who are still not familiar, check out BioBigBox.com. It's a mostly free HIPAA compliant uh, data transfer and storage system. Finally, with installation of this version of the software on a new computer, we are gifting two free STL exports to be used. You don't need to do anything extra when you license the software for the first time on a new computer, new users or existing users who got a new computer will receive two STL exports with installation of the software. As mentioned, this version of the software supports the Blue Sky Bio fully guided keyless surgical kit, which is really a must have for anybody that wants to do fully guided surgery. So we demonstrated how to make change the setting in the wizard where it's really the easiest and fastest but for users who are not using the wizard a couple of technical things you can see that in the implant list there's now a new drop down for drill kits here you could select if you're using the direct cut drills the fully guided kit or if you're using another kit and in the future we're going to have additional kits listed here as well
and you could see watch right now we have direct cut drills selected and look at the values in the guide hold diameter height and offsets now if we make the change to the fully guided surgical kit we can see how the data and information updates automatically now the same happens let's switch back let's look at the parts panel what's being displayed here is the parts for the direct cut drills now if we switch and go to the fully guided kit switch back to the parts panel then we see that the parts have adjusted and updated accordingly now that's true with the drilling report as well the data in the drilling report will adjust and display the relevant information depending on which kit is being used a user that's not using either one of those kits should choose the custom kit option now they could go ahead and enter the numbers and the data for the guide hole diameter height and offset to accommodate any metal cylinder for any guided surgical kit. The same is true when we go to the guide panel and look at the settings for the surgical guide. The information regarding the metal cylinder lip height is dependent on which guided surgical kit is being used and of course it could be edited and customized on a by need basis.